Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's use Automator to sort files into folders. So one of the things you can do with Automator is to create a folder action. That's an action that occurs when a new file is added to a folder. So for instance, you can set it to sort files when you put, say, an image into a folder, it does something with it. When you put a sound file into a folder, it does something else with it. Let's go and take a look at a simple example. Let's create a new folder on the desktop and we'll call it Sorter. And then inside it, we'll create some other folders. Let's call one Images. Let's call another one Sound. And let's call another one Other. Now the idea is that when we drop something into this sorter folder it will then place it in the proper subfolder depending on what file type it is. So we're going to do this with Automator and we're going to do it without using any Apple scripting. Just Automator functions. So what we want to do is create a folder action in Automator and choose it. Now the next thing we need to do is choose the folder that it's going to act on. So we're going to go to the desktop and choose our sorter folder. So first we're going to narrow it down to just files and folders. Uh, and then we're going to look in here and we're going to look for the filter finder items. So we're already going to get uh, the input here is the file and folders that are added to the sorter folder. So we have it narrowed down that far. Now we just want to go and set it to ones where the kind is an image. Next thing we want to do is then move finder items. We drag that over here. So you see this, the results of this flow into this one. And we're going to move it to, we'll select other, and we'll select this images folder there. So it's going to take whatever's put into the sorter folder, uh, filter it by kind as image, and then move those to the images folder. So now we're going to save this and we're going to give it a name. So we're going to do, say, sorter images and save that. Now it's already assigned to that folder so we'll just hide Automator and we will drag and drop this image I have here into the sorter folder. We do that and then we give it a second we see it disappears. If we look in images we can see it put it inside that images folder. So now we want it to sort by the other criteria as well. So we're going to switch back to Automator and we're going to create a new thing. We're going to do a new folder action and we're basically going to repeat these steps and create one for audio files. We can get a sample file like this mp3 here, drop that into Sorter and we can see it will disappear into the sound folder. So and last we want to create another folder action and this is going to handle all the other files. So we will choose the sorter folder as before uh, but this time we're just going to say move finder items. We don't need to filter because it's just going to deal with everything else. So here's a document. We're going to drag that into here and that should disappear into the other folder. So to see what folder actions are applied to a folder you select the folder, control or right click at it and go to Folder Action Setup. Then it's going to want you to add a new folder action to it. Instead of doing that we're just going to do Cancel to see uh, what folder actions are there. You can see all the folders that have folder actions on the left and on the right with this one selected you can see which folder actions have been applied and you can turn them on or off. You can also select one here and click Edit Workflow. That's a quick way to be able to go and edit a folder action without having to find the file on your drive. Now order is important here. You want to make sure it does images, audio, and then other last. So if you want to change the order, one way to do it, for instance, is to remove the item there from the workflow. And then you can add one back in. So we can add audio back in there and you can see it added it last. By the way, if you ever want to see where these files are kept, you need to go to your user folder, library, and then under library you go down to workflows. And there you'll find applications, folder actions, and there are the three workflows that we created. 
So while we've created a special folder called Sorter for this, you could actually use an existing folder. For instance, your Downloads folder. So you can have your Downloads folder have, say, subfolders for PDFs, images, music, all sorts of things, and then use criteria more than just kind. You can use file name checks, you can use extension checks, you can do all sorts of rules to actually filter anything that gets thrown into your download folder into subfolders. It's a way to keep things neat. So there's a way that you can use Automator to add folder actions to folders. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.